This is how you change a motor out in the Holy Stone F182C. There's the motor right there. And you have to pry off this plastic cover. It's not easy to come off. It doesn't come off easily. Had to really dent it up to get it loose. Just watch out for the wires. Slides back and away along that tube. Then um, you pry loose the other end of the tube from the main body. Uh, you might have to unloosen the screw on the board, uh, but it's a tight fit, so I had to sort of rock it to get it to come out. There. So that loosens up the wire. You can see where the wire fits to the board. And it's soldered. Make sure you pick the right color wire for the right color motor because my crash kit had two motors, one with a white and black and one with a red and black. So in this case, I'm switching out a white and black. So I'm getting ready to solder here. So I'm moving the wires out of the way so I have a good clean work area. Those are my two wires that match up with the motor that I have to change out. And now I'm ready to solder. Okay, so now the wires are loose. So now I should be able to uh, pull those wires loose. This, uh, the other end of this little post comes out. So I pulled that loose as well. Just pull out the old motor and put in the new one. So just thread it through and 
then put the motor in place. Make sure the gears line up behind my thumb. And thread it through the post. Remove the slack as you tighten the pieces together. They just snap together. Now this wire just bends back, it doesn't actually insert into the post, it just kind of is held in there, kind of squeezes in there on top. Just make sure it rides along the top. And then put the post in. And then you're ready to solder. So we're going to solder the new leads onto the old place. Make sure you might want to take a picture when you first take it apart to make sure that you put it together correctly. I did that and I referred to the pictures a couple times while I was doing it to make sure I was doing it right rather than redoing it. Uh, that's it for the soldering. If you had uh, unscrewed the board a little bit, then I just tightened it down again. And then she's ready to go. That's all she wrote.